Shipping Gang! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to stuff my income from my small business. So this was the initial income that I got and the rest of my income is still in my TikTok shop and Shopee. Some orders are still in transit so I haven't received the payment. So I will first stuff the initial income that I received this January. So finally, my voice has returned to normal so I can speak comfortably today. I am going to stuff 4,305 pesos and here is the cash that I have and also some of the coins. First, we are going to count the cash that I have. 1,000, 2,000. Five hundred, one thousand five hundred. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Fifty, seventy, ninety. I have 20 peso coins here, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and I also have 15 pesos here. That's 15. So here's the total income that I'm going to stuff today. It's 4,305 pesos. Here, I'm going to start with my cash envelope binder. So this is like my mini wallet that I will bring everywhere I go. So first, for my food expense, I am going to put 500 pesos. So my professor already posted in our Google Classroom that we are going to have our first face-to-face -face classes. So my schedule for my classes is just every Friday at 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. so I only have one subject left for this semester so I'm going to put 500 for my food expense or my food allowance next is my transportation fare I'm going to put 40 pesos so for my transportation fare there are times that my dad fetches me or drives me to school so I'm just going to put 40 pesos here and this is the right amount that I need in case I'm going to commute to school. So that's my transportation fare. Next is shopping. I am going to put 100. For my self-care, I am also going to put 100. And for groceries, I'm going to put 100 also. So I don't need to buy anything for this week. So I'll just put 100 for that. So that's it for my cash envelope binder. Next is my sinking funds binder. For my savings and my boyfriend's savings account, I am not going to put any money in there. For emergency, I am going to put 100 pesos. So now I have 200 pesos for my emergency ziplock. Next is happy mail. I am going to put 1,151. one thousand one hundred fifty one so this is my restock for my ziplocs because my mini budget binders were sold out in a week so i need to restock more and yeah i ordered more stocks for my next restock for body budget, I am going to put 500 pesos. For 
for Sagrada Cafe. I am not going to put anything for this one because we paused the construction so that our workers can have their day offs or spend time with their families and I am also saving up money for the next construction and for the labor cost. So next is for my birthday and gifts and holiday Ziploc. I am not going to put anything in there because it's not in our budget for today. So last one is my savings challenges binder. So for my 50 peso savings challenge, I am going to put 50 pesos. Let me get my highlighter. I already used a highlighter for this one so that you can see that I shaded the circles. I'm going to use the pink one because you know that I love pink. So since I don't have any 50 peso bill, let's condense this 100 peso and take back a 50 peso in our cash tray. So now I have 150 pesos for my 50 peso savings challenge. I'm sorry if you can hear a dog crying because our neighbor's dog is crying outside. I don't know why. Next is for my 100 peso savings challenge. Since I don't have a 100 peso here, I'm going to skip this one for a while and stuff the other Ziplocs for now. So next is my roll the dice challenge. For this challenge, I already screen recorded when I rolled the dice and I got 5 dots which is 50 pesos. So I'm going to put 50 pesos here now we have 50 100 120 for our roll the dice challenge and i am going to shade a dice with five dots wait i should have colored in two separate dice but that's okay it's the same so it's all right okay next is for my buy it savings challenge i am going to put 350 pesos so i'm going to check this one my second ticket and since i have a 500 peso here we are going to condense this one so 500 minus 350 is 150. Let's take this 150 back in our cash tray. So now I have 500, 650, 700 pesos for my tablet fund. So as I have mentioned in my last video, I want to buy a tablet of my own which I will use for our future cafe. Next is my buy it savings challenge for a refrigerator. Here I am going to put 1000. So let's check my next ticket. Here I have a 1000 bill here and we now have 2000 pesos. So I still have a long way to go for this savings challenge but I know that I will succeed with this one. For my save 2023 pesos, I am going to stuff this in February. So I'll leave that there. So we haven't stuffed the 100 peso savings challenge. I'm going to put 100 and shade this one. Okay. So I'm going to put 100. And now we have 200 pesos for our 100 peso savings challenge. So next are my coins challenge. For my 20 peso savings challenge, I have 5 pieces of 20 peso coins here. So we will put this in my coin bank later. Let's shade five circles for this one. There. So there.
there we have it we now have 200 pesos for our 20 peso savings challenge next is my coin savings challenge i have here 14 pesos we are going to put this in my coin bank later so i'm going to write 14 pesos here there next is my 100 envelope challenge since i have 50 pesos left here i'm going to put this aside for a while so here are my envelopes and i have changed them into my recycled papers or envelopes that i made from my way bills so i don't want to throw the back paper of the way bills so i made them as a mini envelope and i printed out numbers on them using my full memo label printer so this is my initial stuffing for this challenge before so now i am going to pick an envelope which has the number 50 or less than 50 so that i can put this cash in that envelope so i hope i'll pick the right one 30 so since i picked a 30 i am going to put this 50 peso bill inside there so i'm going to put this here now because we are done with our savings challenges i am going to shade here number 30 number 30 is here so i think when i finish this challenge i am not going to get the exact 5050 pesos because some of the envelopes that i stuffed were more than the number that is stated here so i might get more than 5050 pesos so that's it for our cash stuffing video but first i am going to put the coins in my coin bank i'm going to open this one because as i have said in my previous videos the 20 peso coins do not fit here so i'll just open this door and put them inside and lock them up and put it back where it belongs so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please smash that subscribe button and share this video and click the notification bell so that you'll be updated for my upcoming videos. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!